Here are four different ways that you can lucid dream tonight. Hey guys and welcome back to yet another video. In this video we're going to be talking about four different ways that you can lucid dream tonight. A lot of people have a lot more time at home right now and so lucid dreaming is honestly the perfect thing to try. So I compiled four different techniques that you can use to get lucid as soon as tonight. So let's get into it. And keep in mind there's lots of different techniques that you can do to create a consistent habit of lucid dreaming over a prolonged period of time. But since we want to get lucid in one day, these are the things that we should do to heighten our chances. The first one is submerging yourself in your environment and really paying attention to everything the best you can for the rest of the day. So as you guys know, habits that we have during wakefulness carry over into our sleep. But if we're wanting to get lucid tonight, then we need to be as aware of our environment as possible. That way we can carry the awareness into the dream. Without having awareness in the dream, it will be impossible to realize that you're dreaming because you'll be completely oblivious to the environment around you. So what you want to do is train yourself during wakefulness and really pay attention to everything, where you're going, really tuning in with, you know, asking yourself questions, making sure you know where you are, if anything's weird, really just be very critical of your environment and really mindful and that will heighten your chances of doing that in your next dream. The next technique that I honestly use a lot is taking a nap. Now the way that I get lucid from naps is I sleep on my back because I normally don't sleep on my back so I keep a sliver of awareness and I don't fall into a really relaxed deep sleep. So choose a position that you normally don't sleep in, again for me it's my back, and just completely relax during the nap. Try not to move around, try not to, you know, toss and turn a lot because it's the same kind of thing when inducing sleep paralysis. We want to basically trick our body into thinking we are asleep while we keep a sliver of awareness. And for some reason, we go into dreams almost immediately when we take a nap. So naps are a really good time to try a lucid dreaming technique. And a lot of the time with naps, you don't have to try a technique, you can literally just go to sleep and since you just went from wakefulness into sleep you carry some of that energy and that mindfulness and that wakefulness over into your sleep which makes it easier to get lucid. Sometimes during naps I go into sleep paralysis before I even fall asleep. You know you have that sliver of awareness where you're kind of thinking in bed you're like kind of half asleep but your mind's going and you're thinking that's the state that I get to when sleep paralysis starts to happen and so I start to feel an intense buzzing and I can either have an out-of-body experience from there or a lucid dream. And other times with naps, you'll just wake up in a lucid dream, but it's really good to tell yourself that you're about to go into a lucid dream before you take a nap. That way you have set the intention and you're looking out for all the signs of becoming lucid. Another technique that gets me lucid all the time is waking up two hours before you normally wake up and then going back to bed and meditating. You don't want to just go back to sleep, but you want to just meditate. And again, you'll get a, you're going to want to lay in a position that you're not used to sleeping in. Again, for me, it's my back. I seem to always get lucid or always have an out-of-body experience when I'm meditating or doing a technique on my back. So choose what is best for you, but that is what works best for me. This is kind of similar to techniques like wake back to bed or really a lot of lucid dreaming techniques where you wake up in REM and you go back to sleep and kind of meditate. This is the same thing except you're going through almost all of your sleep. That way you're only missing two hours of sleep and you'll have more wakefulness to carry into the dream state. And a lot of times when we wake up two hours before we normally wake up, we're a lot of the time in REM at that time. So it's kind of perfect all around. The last technique I wanted to tell you about is super easy and I'm sure that you've heard of it. It's called filed, which means finger induced lucid dream. When I first tried this, I did not think that it was going to work, but it actually worked the first try. And so definitely try this out and see if it works for you. Just like most other techniques, you're going to want to try to wake up during REM. Um, if you wake up randomly in the middle of the night, you can try this technique. If you wake up out of a dream immediately, you can try this technique. If you wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom or anything like that, you can try this technique or you can also set your alarm between four and a half or six hours of sleep or even two hours before you normally wake up. So as you can see, there's lots of different times that you can use for this technique or really lots of techniques for lucid dreaming. Now that you've woken up, you're going to want to stay awake for about five-ish minutes. You're going to want to go back to bed and you're going to want to get into a comfortable position. One thing though, you do want to make sure that your hand, at least one hand, can lay flat on the bed. You can have it tucked under your pillow, you can be laying flat on your back and just have your hand flat, but it needs to be laying against the bed completely flat. 
Now for this technique, you're basically going to harness your awareness by slightly moving your fingers, but not enough to tell your body that you are awake. And this will take some practice. You can practice moving your fingers like super slightly. As you can see, I'm kind of moving them then start moving them a little bit less until you can almost feel just the muscles moving. Like you can't actually see the fingers moving, but you can feel the muscles contracting like your fingers are moving. That's what you're gonna want to do when you're laying down and kind of just relaxing and meditating. And you're gonna wanna do that for a while until you kind of drift off into sleep, but just barely, barely, barely move again. It's almost a mental thing. You wanna feel the muscles slightly contracting like your fingers are moving, but you don't wanna actually be like going like this on the bed. What's interesting about this is you might notice your body going into sleep, but you have that awareness from moving your fingers, so you're gonna notice this happening without falling asleep, or you're going to wake up into a dream, which is what happens to me when I use this technique. I'll be in a dream and then I'll spontaneously get lucid. So either way, it is an amazing technique for carrying more awareness over into the dream state. Guys, by the way, I have so many more techniques for you. I'm super excited to get into future techniques because there are some that you probably haven't heard of, which I'm super excited about, but I really hope that these techniques that I shared with you help you get lucid as soon as possible. And guys, I wanted to tell you about the merch line that I recently released. It is lucid dreaming and astral projection related merch. There's stickers for reality checks, tons of shirts, there's mugs, sweaters, phone cases. Definitely go check it out. A lot of designs on the merch shop will be changing every month or every other month or so. So if you see anything that you like, make sure to grab it while it's there. And every sale that we get gets us closer to doing merch giveaways. So make sure to check it out. And all right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next time. And as always, I'm sending you endless love and endless lucidity.